Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about uh, traditional tank hot water heaters and uh, usually these will last about 15 to 20 years um, but I, the reason I'm going to be talking about them today is I had an amazing coincidence happen. Uh, the tank on the right is 23, year, 23 years old. That's a long life for a hot water tank. The tank on the left is only 14 years old. The coincidence is they both went within four days of each other. The one on the right is from my own home, the one on the left is from one of my rental properties. So I had an exciting week. Um, so let me show you what we got here. The one that lasted 23 years old is a Kenmore Economizer 5. It's a five year rated hot water heater. Here's the tank information on that. And the one that only lasted 14 years is uh, State Select. I believe I looked this up once, and this is supposedly made by A.O. Smith. And here's the information on this tank. So how these work are actually very, very simplistic. You have your gas valve, which I removed from this one. Um, inside the tank is a thermostat that controls the temperature and that's when you adjust the temperature on the front. Um, gas line goes in here. Underneath you have the connections that go out to the actual burner. So this round plates the burner here. We got the thermocouple, the pilot feed, and the spark igniter. And the connections for that are all over here. And basically it's just a big metal cylinder inside and uh, a round hole in the center for a chimney pipe that comes up and it vents out. Um, so another interesting thing is the 23 year old tank just had a slow leak as usually what happens. The 14 year old tank had an absolute blowout. Water was just pouring out of the case seam, so I'm guessing the tank itself has ruptured probably just as severely. Um, what I want to do is I want to cut these open and I want to see if I can find any reason why one lasted 23 years and the only other one only lasted 14 with a major catastrophe blowout. Um, I have my suspicions. My suspicion is the 23 year old tank just simply has a thicker wall. Um, on the 14 year tank my suspicion is that it's a thinner wall and also the heat was cranked up as high as it could go so I have a feeling that it was a combination of um, rust uh, and thermal expansion that caused a blowout. Uh, probably along um, the seam of the tank. So we're going to cut these open and we're going to see what we can see. All right, so I got my grinder, I got my goggles, I got gloves, and let's see what we can do here.
this from this angle, I'm not seeing where the blowout happened. There is quite a bit of junk in this tank. Oh. Pull out the seam. Seam is right here. Grab the camera off the tripod. So this is what the inside of your water tank looks like. focus. There's a tiny little thin thin metal rod down there which is all that's left of the anode. And let's see if we can see it here. There is the seam for the inner tank. And it looks like it Right there is where it let go. Which on the outside is just a little further down from where the outer seam buckled. So there you have it. There's this tank. And I'll measure the thickness on the uh, metal wall in a bit. I'm going to cut up the next tank while I'm at it here. And right, let's see what kind of damage we can inflict on this one. Wait to look at this. That center pipe is terrible. Let me 
you can see the uh, what's left of the anode right there. But surprisingly, the tank itself is pretty clean. I'm rather surprised by that. Yeah, even at the bottom, there is not much junk in here. So actually, I bet the leak was coming from the stack pipe rather than the outer liner. Let me go grab my calipers and I'll measure those tank thicknesses. So this is the tank I just cut open. Find a fairly flat spot here. About 0.08 inch thickness. Can you see that? Here we go. Point oh seven on the other one. Rather surprising results. So tanks themselves were probably about equivalent, but uh, one just fared significantly better. Um, the tall tank did have uh, was a smaller capacity and uh, less temperature, less heat. Uh, it was I think it was like thirty thousand BTU and the. Other tank is 40,000 BTU, which is much more common now, so maybe that helped. Uh, maybe it was better taken care of. I did try to flush the tank on a pretty regular basis. Um, realistically, it probably averaged about once every three to four years. You're supposed to do it every year. Um, so, rather interesting. But uh, there you have it. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to point out. While I'm at it, there's this rust spot on the top of this tank. I was told this is because the uh, chimney was not venting properly. And when I first purchased the house, there was a bird nest in the chimney that uh, had to be removed. Um, and I suspect that happened from that. Um, the chimney's been clear ever since. I think the damage was already done. But uh, if you see that rust spot, that means your chimney's not venting properly, so you better take care of that. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.